welcome to my channel i'm Haley. this is my channel pleiadian mistake um i'm going to lay the cards out as i do my little speech from here on out so you can see that um i pre-shuffled them anyway so this is my channel my readings aren't date specific or time specific um basically it's a you versus them situation um Take the messages only that resonate. If you're new to my channel, um, please use your own discernment and find out what messages are for you. If um, the messages don't all resonate, it's because it's general readings. And there might be something in here that your spirit guides want you to see. Okay, so now that we've gotten through that, we're doing the Taurus reading. So Taurus, 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 Taurus. What is happening in your current situation? We have some healing happening, Taurus. So there's some deep, deep healing going on with you, with a six. Could be with a soulmate or a life, a past life connection. Um, but basically, we're going through a real healing process. And you have actually got fairies helping sew you back together here. And see how um, she's looking up at, this, at the sky. And there's a, if you can see, there's a, a face here in the clouds. So I'm sensing that... Um, there's a lot of um, healing that's been going on and you're being sewn back together is what I'm getting. And you've got angels looking down on you, angels looking out for you. You've got a higher power that is in your corner that's coming in to assist you and support you. I'm getting the universe has your back. Not all hope is lost, Taurus. It's okay. You're just healing right now. It's just a time for pause, a time for reflection, a time for a new beginning the universe is saying the old ways are no longer serving you, Taurus. Something has to change. You need to heal right now. You need to mend. Stop the fight. Love yourself. Heal yourself. The pain that you've been through needs to end. And we know what's best for you. Trust us. Trust us. There's a lot of light coming through here too. So I feel like you're getting healed by angels and the universe and the divine. Because you're really loved. And maybe you need to hear how much you're loved right now, Taurus. You're so loved by the universe. I feel like God is smiling at you. One, at, You're one of his favorites. <laughs> I'm just getting a really nice warm feeling right now. Yes, we all make mistakes. But it's it's how we choose to respond and recover from those mistakes. Mistakes that is a true reflection of who we are. You know, we can always be misguided. We can always be led down the wrong path. But we have to have a wake-up call sometimes to realize who we truly are, how we've been living our life, and who we really want to be in the future. And if you're not happy in your life, start making the changes now by looking in the mirror, by looking at the man in the mirror. And that's the first place you can start, is by looking in the mirror, loving yourself, Healing the parts of you that are broken, that have caused your pain. And moving forward. Life isn't meant to be perfect. It's all about lessons. It's all about soul growth. And every experience we have in life is a learning point. So what did you learn from this experience? Take what you learned and heal. And know the universe is caressing you and holding you in their palm right now. And sending you the love and light you deserve. And you have angels with you, guiding you and watching you. So listen to your intuition because they're going to keep you safe during this time. All right, so let's get a clarifying card. Resistance. <laughs> what are you resisting, Taurus? I feel like you're, you're really holding on to the past. And the past is where all the pain came from. And I feel like you just don't want to let go of your current ways because that's all you've ever known and you're scared of change, you're scared of getting hurt again because you're quite damaged. And that's totally fine. But the universe is here to say, trust, trust us. We're going to, we're going to support you. We're going to take you to a better place. The, the life you've been living isn't good enough for you and we want you to heal we want you to mend and we want to take you somewhere better let us stop blocking this new growth that is happening within your soul within you 
in your life and listen to the call of your heart. I know it's been a painful journey from here on out, but I feel like the universe is saying that's what we're trying to change for your future. Yes, the past can hurt, but you have to face it in order to grow, in order to heal, in order to mend a situation. It's a very deep message for you, Taurus. I hope that you're okay. But no, you have a lot of spirit guides with you because all these eagles around here, they represent messages from spirit. So you have a lot of divine guidance right now, a lot of cosmic um, universal support, a lot of light coming through to you. And they're just saying, you're healing. Just relax. Stop this resistance. Let us assist you and support you. What is your spirit animal right now, Taurus? Yeah. Okay, so your spirit animal is being open to infinite possibility. So what the universe is trying to do is get you from being this to this. And they're trying to heal you so you can be open to the abundance that they're trying to get in. So we have a five and a nine here. So they want to stretch out this hand and this grip, this tight grip. The healing's going to take place and then you're going to stretch out like a starfish. And that's what's currently happening in this um, situation with you, Taurus. Whatever has happened in the past, you need to let that go because that's what's blocking your future. It's what's blocking your abundance. The starfish is all about being open to infinite possibilities and going with the flow. Starfish energy is beautiful. It's just floating in your aquarium, gliding along, you know, not having a care in the world, in the flow. So you, they want to open you up to your possible, possible future and the opportunities that they want to give you are beyond your wildest imagination. And spirit wants to give you endless possibilities. And if you just let go and, re and stop resisting, they're going to give you... So much courage and strength that you're going to stretch past the limits of your everyday perception. And they're going to... Take you out of your comfort zone so you can dream of bigger things and imagine even greater future. And basically when you do this, they're going to they're going to give you a miracle. And you're going to have so much potential and so much light is shining down on you right now. They want you to feel it, bask in it. And they want you to open yourself up to being filled with this inspirational light. So basically... They want you to know how much you're loved, how much you're not reaching your potential and how much they know you deserve and how much better your life could be. And they're trying to help you. They're trying to get you out of a toxic situation, toxic cycle, help you heal, help you raise up, level up, vibe up and become the starfish. The starfish is a gorgeous energy. Stop resisting. Okay, so what's the other person's energy or the other situation here? Okay, this is still you. <laughs> okay, so you have a deep knowing, Taurus. Your intuition. You're resisting your intuition right now, possibly, because you haven't healed. But you have a deep knowing. You have very spiritual gifts, intuition, intuitive powers. If this isn't you, this is the other person. But I'm sensing this is still you. But if you are connecting with someone, they also have intuitive gifts as well. And I feel like you're finally listening to your intuition. Finally. You have a deep knowing about your soul purpose, who you are, where you're supposed to go. You've got this guidance. Your intuition is your spirit guides. It's your connection to the spiritual realm. Your intuition, um, it always it's your internal compass and it guides you to the best possible path for you. So with spirit guides... They're like little orbs of light, the little little light beings, and they fly around us and we can't see them because it's so dense here in the third dimension. But they operate in the fifth dimension, they operate in the fourth dimension, and unless you have um, raised your vibration and ascended to a point where you can unlock the ability to 
see these beings, you can't actually physically, excuse me, see them. And they'll only connect with certain individuals who have spiritual gifts or really high vibration. But we all have the ability to connect with our intuition. You don't have to be psychic to connect with your intuition. Some people just have a stronger ability than others only because they've tapped in. But we can all learn how to tap in. So you, Taurus, have the ability to tap in and you've accessed it recently. Maybe you don't understand it. Maybe you don't un know what it is, but it's the divine trying to guide you to your highest possible good, your true north. The compass is directing you to the best path. Sometimes intuition feels crazy because it's like closing your eyes and guessing. Sometimes when I do readings, when I pick these cards, I'm using my intuition. And sometimes it feels like I'm closing my eyes and getting guessing. But I just have a deep knowing of what card I need to choose. And then I translate the messages with little to nothing except my intuition and my deep knowing. And that's how I get these messages. If I never trusted my intuition, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I just saw 1111. Um, so I feel like... You know, spirit has a plan. It knows what's best for each and every one of us. It's whether or not we have the courage to choose to follow our intuition blindly and take a leap of faith and say, you know what, I'm done resisting. All paths that I've chosen haven't led me to a happy place. I'm going to follow my intuition. So let's see what this is about in terms of your life. Is it a connection? Is it another person? Okay, you're assessing the situation. <laughs> I'm sensing some trust issues here, but this is because you haven't healed. We have um, a broken heart, I feel. Someone's had a lot of sadness and heartache in their life. And you're assessing a situation that you know you're meant to go towards. And I feel like you're thinking about it from a real logical perspective. And maybe too logically, because you don't understand what's going on. And you might be observing someone on social media. But basically, you're just like, why do I have this feeling that I should go down that way? What's going on? What's happening to me? And when you have been um, taught to use your logical brain your whole life, using your intuition and following your intuitive guidance, it can be quite a daunting experience. Um, so I feel like you're you're having a bit of a, ba a struggle here between your head and your heart. Um, your intuition and your logical brain. But that's what spirit wants. That's why spirit does these auspicious type of situations so that we jump out of our comfort zone, stop thinking so logically and start following our intuition because that's what we were born to do, follow our intuition. We've been programmed by society and humanity to live the wrong way and spirit wants you to question that. Why do I have this feeling? We have feelings for a reason. Our feelings are our internal guidance system and we've been programmed to ignore our feelings and be scared of them and run away from them because it's spirit. It's the divine guiding you down the right path. You have a feeling. You have a gut instinct for a reason. It's your own protection. It's your own internal guidance system. You know, every time you've had a bad feeling about someone, I 100% guarantee that you've probably given them a chance and then three, four, five weeks later, you've been like, I knew that. I knew that. That is your spirit guides going, don't, don't engage, don't engage, get out quick, get out quick. You know, and if there's ever been a situation where you haven't been um, following your intuition, you'll feel those alarm bells going off like, this isn't right, something doesn't feel right. And generally, it's because someone's being deceptive or shady and you have a spiritual team that are trying to protect you and guide you to your highest good. And if you don't understand that, you don't know what that feeling is. So always look out for that and always look out for synchronicities because that's your spirit guides trying to guide you as well. And can you imagine how frustrating it is for your spirit guides to be sending you alarm signals and having you ignore them on a daily basis? These spirit guides are assigned to you. And if you don't listen to them, can you imagine being invisible, trying to get through to someone, being like, don't go that way, go this way, and they completely ignore you? So they're going to slam things in your face. You're going to have synchronicities. You're going to have signs. You're going to have obvious things that and until you get the message and follow the right path, they're going to keep slamming you. 
and that deep knowing is just going to get stronger and stronger. All right, so let's get another clarifier of your spirit animal. Okay, overcome any obstacles. So I feel like you have an intuition of a path you need to take, but you feel like there's so many obstacles in the way and it's a really tough direction, but your spiritual team are like, no, this is the right path. So I feel like um, once you make this decision, um, you're going to be in the rhino spirit and you're going to be able to overcome any obstacles. I feel like you'll have the support of the universe if you make this decision in this direction. The universe is going to clear all obstacles and everything is just going to fall into place. So the rhino spirit is about having courage and strength to overcome any obstacles that's in your way. It might seem crazy because if your logical brain is like, this can't be the right path for me. Maybe because you have an unrealistic ex expectation of how your life should be. But the journey of our soul is a deep one and we, we don't know what we're meant to do until it's right in front of us. So we always have a choice to press ahead and the rhino spirit offers you the power to break through stubborn obstacles. So maybe the other person that you're dealing with or the situation you're dealing with has been quite stubborn. But the rhino spirit is with you right now to remind you that you have a marvelous ability to overcome obstacles in multiple ways by going around them, shattering them with the um, force of deliberate intentions, or even transforming them into clouds that drift away. But, ref but if you refuse to allow them to limit you and apply your rhino spirit with creativity and no obstacle can stand for you have magic to make and you have many ways to make magic. So basically, this oracle card is here to remind you that when an obstacle appears to like block something that you desire today, it just means that something much better is coming. So keep that in mind when you consider the nature of the obstacle in front of you now. Great Spirit loves you so much and only wants the best for you. So maybe you've chosen a path that's not right for you and you're facing a lot of obstacles and maybe maybe it wasn't the right time and there was an obstacle in the way and maybe you had more healing to do. So I feel like if this is you and another person, it doesn't have to be. Maybe this is their, their um, energy normally, but because they... Because they're healing, they kind of clamped up like a like a clam and they resisted the connection. Um, but you might be coming through having a deep knowing here if this is a, another situation um, that this is meant for you. So you're assessing the situation and you're just going to rush in there like a rhino to try and um, sort things out. But I'm going to get one more card for the connective energy and see if this is two people or a connection. Yeah, someone's rejected you. Okay. So maybe you're healing from rejection or maybe you're overcoming someone, putting up a wall, creating some resistance. So I feel like you're scared of rejection, but you have a deep knowing that this is the path for you. So you're trying to assess your best way to reapproach the situation. And I feel like the other person is the starfish energy. They're like, boop, 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 like floating away from you. Um, but because they're healing, they're healing. They, um, they're in this resistant energy. So what I'm getting from this is I do sense that it could be a, co a combination of situations. You have someone who has rejected you. Or maybe you reject this person in the past. But either way, take the messages as they resonate. There has been a rejection. There, we're currently healing from it. The starfish is your true essence. You're mending. And the, um, the fact that you're really damaged has caused you to be resistant because you're scared of rejection. So what the spirit is saying, your intuition is correct. Um, be open to into infinite possibilities. There's healing taking place right now and in the future you're going to overcome any obstacle. So I'm going to leave that right there for you Taurus. Take those messages as they resonate. Um, actually I have one more card that I'm going to pull. 
sorry. Let's grab this deck. Um, what's your advice from spirit? Rejuvenate. So this is a time for healing, rejuvenation. Maybe go have a bath in Epsom salts. Lie in bed, get some really good sleep, meditate. It's a time for healing right now. And then I, I, I think once you get through this, you'll be able to reassess the situation. Sorry, this is healing. So once you get through this period of healing, you'll be able to reassess the situation. The intuition is correct. And I feel like you'll be feeling like the starfish again. And you'll have this courage within you to overcome any obstacle. And I feel like that's the message Spirit wanted to send you now. If you want to take this a little bit further and we can unpack this, please join me over on Vimeo. The link is below. Bye.